Okay, so I put a bunch of ROMs on this 16 gig class 2 SD card. I do not use it because the one that's in the phone is an 8 gig class 4, so it is faster. Now I gotta put this in there and choose from one of the 4 or 5 ROMs that I put on here. This is kinda hard, but you can do it. Yeah, press on this teeny tiny little button and this teeny tiny little button. Alright, I'm pressing it. Hopefully that's not on there. Okay, it's no, it's not. So yeah, you probably want to put this on there. Otherwise, navigating to these menus is going to be a pain. Choose recovery. Press power. I've been talking about getting a new camera, but I simply don't have the funds right now. I did go out and buy one. It was a Canon PowerShot SX30 or something. And trust me, the quality was almost exactly the same as this. You can read those if I'm close up on it. The other one was actually kind of worse, so I'm just going to hold out until I can afford a $1,200 camera instead of trying to go the cheap way and get a $399 camera instead. Now, I'm going to do wipe, factory reset. Now, I'm going to go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Which one should we try first? We'll try this Project ROM 2.2. I can love Xenomax's videos because they're so crystal clear because they use the Canon 60D. I think you actually upgrade to the 7D, which is a better model, like 9 frames per second auto shoot or whatever it is. I wonder if I can turn the light off in it. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to reboot the system. <laughs> you couldn't even see what I was doing. Damn it. Wow. <laughs> Some of y'all that came from the Samsung moment, Noob NL's Radioactive Froyo ROM used that boot logo. And I think the Sanyo Zio, uh, or Cricket Zio, or whatever, has the same logo. <laughs> it kept the lock screen, because a lot of people like this lock screen. It's uh, pretty much stock gingerbread, except they made some tweaks to the taskbar. doesn't have the little after scroll. Dang it. That kind of sucks. I think the messaging has been upped. I can't choose that one. Well. Wow. Here we're just re restoring the data and nothing else. This is 5010. That's the latest clockwork recovery. King camera's gonna die before this process is over with. Now we're gonna reboot the system. Hard to tell, but these did light up. Hey, my little settings came back. So everything is back to the way it was. Neato. I'm gonna have to play with this and give it a run for its money. Doll ADW launcher. Have that little pinch thing and those little transitions between screens. Yeah, there's my little transition between screens and the infinite scrolling. You see the little dots down here? Oh, we have this. We can choose the screens like since. So I prefer ADW launcher. And plus, Shift on Twitter posted that they got 3D working on the Evo 3D for CM7. 
So it's coming fully soon. And of course, I'll install the very first experimental one they post. I'll lose sense, of course, which is not a problem to me because I have installed ADW on every phone I've ever had. So, which is the moment, intercept, transform, and EVO 3D. This is what we're Josh doing. I'm out.